Here we go. I wonder whatever happened to my friend, uh, Peter Orlovsky. I have a book of his poems, and I'm going to read a poem. Uh, I like Peter very much. He was uh, very interesting and a lot of fun. This poem is called, Writing Poems is a Saintly Thing. Writing poems is a saintly thing. The heart bursts like feeding red chickens on a green hill or sitting on a balloon coming down to a windowsill in time for morning to welcome me into your early rise of bacon and rolls and that tune on the radio for dancing around the kitchen table with spoons in your mouth. One room is all I'll ever own in eternity, one bed. Memory ramblings over tall mountains, carrying me away to that no man's land, where to breathe is but to sigh at a lost dream that rolls away from the eyes. Rain and snow, a clock on my window, what good is my room? It can't hold all the people in the world. And chairs, lonely because built only for one. I tell you, youth wants more of this world than our fathers left us. A mirror makes two, and that's a blessing. Grinding my teeth for lack of love, like into a glove. I know the angel behind the door will bring me good paintings before long. All angels meet on the curve of the earth and form a line that becomes a bridge to the sun. That was written in New York City in 1959. I think um, the the title of this book is is Clean Asshole Poems and Smiling Vegetable Songs. So I wonder if something is clean, can it be dirty? I don't think I don't know about that. Um... Avalanche is sullen and too thin She starves herself to rid herself of sin And the kick is so divine when she sees bones beneath her skin And she 